Okay. 11 is one of my favorite numbers. Actually, it's my favorite number. And this episode <clears throat> is one of my favorites of this season. Welcome to the Wet Call Start After Show. I am James Law Jr. And I, I don't even know where to begin. This episode, once again, I said it like a broken record. Another A plus episode from When Calls the Heart. I, the writing, the suspense. I was on edge for half of the show. Oh my goodness! And of course, the kiss. We got to talk about the kiss. We got to talk about the big reveal. I mean, seriously, the mystery that I have enjoyed this whole season. That turned out in a way I did not expect. Usually, I can kind of guess some of these things. I didn't guess this at all. I didn't. Maybe some of you guys did at home. I don't know. But I didn't. I wasn't good at these mystery things. But I didn't. I didn't expect that. So, I'm okay. So, I mean, I feel like I have to begin with the kiss because I know everybody is talking about it and wanting to, you know. So, we'll start there and go backwards, I guess. That's, that's what we'll do. Because, I mean, everybody's talking about it. They're all People are already messaging me like, James, what do you think? So, here we go. <laughs> Oh, Hardys. So I before I say that I've always, I've always maintained that I'm Team Elizabeth. I've always said that for years, for seasons. I wasn't Team Lucas or Team Nathan. I'm Team Elizabeth. I want it meaning I'm just like, I want to watch her journey and what she's going on. But what I realized also is that the show has actually made me care about Nathan and care about Lucas, right? It's made, it's made me care about them actually. And and I will say they gave Lucas a really good storyline this season. A very solid storyline. Chris has been acting his buns off. Um, and he's been really, they, they gave him something really complex. And it took us viewers on a ride. I mean, I'm just like, that's great. Nathan's storyline, and I'm glad they said it today on the episode today. Come well, on, today. They said it on the episode last night. <laughs> like, like, they're, like, like they're for real or something. Like my real friends. Um, everybody's been so kind of cutesy. You got to take it so slow. You're so slow, slow. But he was like, after what happened last time, and I was like, I'm glad that they allowed him to say that. We can't whitewash um, the past. I know some folks may want to re not remember it, but she rejected him or she went with Lucas at first. Um, and, and made a maybe rejection is a law. Maybe that's a heavy word. I don't know. Maybe it's a strong word. But either way, she went with Lucas and went that direction. So um, she didn't go with Nathan at first. So his his trepidation to start anything is actually, I think, warranted. I think it would be dishonest if they try to play it off any other way. Um, and when he said she needs to she needs to kind of lead the charge, I get it. That to me, that's that to me is very, it's very true. Right? It's like you say she's like, I'm not gonna, you know. So and I and when and when and when later he says, I've never stopped loving you, I believe that part too. She had two men who fell in love with her. That happened. Uh, we already know the, the history and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to do that. But it was like, I'm glad that it gave him a chance to kind of to at least say it out loud. Like, I'm not I'm not rushing over to do anything to her because of what happened last time. So it really did need to come from her. And this, this uh, close call experience, it makes sense after the whole season of kind of glances and coming together and people having... It to me, okay, I'm like, okay, a natural progression is happening now. And then, you know, and then they kissed. And I loved at first that she had her monologue speech, and he was just like, I don't need to say nothing. And he just went on in with a smooch. And I don't know what to say. He was like, you know, he was like, I've been, I just never stopped loving you. Because you said, I never stopped loving you. I, so I will say for it was very Hallmark. It's very soap opera. It was. It was. If you are a Nathan and Elizabeth fan, you got your your wish. You really, really did. You got your wish. And to me, it was fine. It was totally. It was completely. 
I mean, now we have one episode left. So now next season, let's just move forward. They have they got the blended family. Let's just keep it, you know, let's keep it just good moving. That's how I look at that one. So at least that, I felt relieved like that's out of the way. And that's kind of how I felt. Um, so, and I'm hoping, and I, I, I think Elizabeth has soul searched on some level this season and, and it's deciding to go with Nathan is the right thing. So there you go. But I think, and now I'll go backwards to the other storylines, which will lead up to the kiss, but that's, I, the kiss happened, folks. It did. And the folks were laughing all season. Some of you, some of you guys are hilarious. Some of the Hardys are like just some of your comments are hilarious about how they just, they just haven't got there and keep getting stopped. And so I was like, this time when they felt went, okay, we'll get to I'll get to the the other great storyline. Um we had I mean just just I mean we're thinking I I know what happened. So we're thinking cashmere shawl that the name is actually fine now it comes from her it's like cashmere shawl funny name so we we think it's him coming to town Jeanette comes back of course and that actress you guys i can tell me in the in the comments her name that actress is so good at playing so creepy to me <laughs> she's good she is good she has that accent that look I just, when she walks in the room, I don't trust her. Trouble follows. I'm just like, Lucas, run for your life. Because I've grown to care about him. They really did a great, they did a great, he did some phenomenal work this year. Um, being torn. First, not remembering what happened to him. Then remembering the whole town, because now the resort has been canceled. He wants to move the town forward, but he got involved with people he didn't really want to get involved. I like, guess it's just, it's, there are a lot of moralistic issues for Lucas. We've seen how much he's changed and how he is and he is settling into his morality um, and how she is part of the past. She is part of his past. Um, Edward leaving, kind of funny. The actor, he's such, he's so, another one is creepy. Uh, actor is so good. I looked him up online. I, I saw, I was like, oh, okay. I, I didn't know much about him. He played that, that mustache, he played a good character. So now he's gone jumping ship and henry was shady af he was shady 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 he was like he didn't shake his hand he was like oh he's just trying to run with you know, you know trying to like rascal him leave a ship sinking ship he had no love for edwin i loved it i was like that's right henry again i, I watched the show since season one like who would have thunk it um at all uh and sassafras you know i always say other there, some of my famous say sayings are because I'm trying not to curse on TV and all these shows, like cheese and crackers, God bless America, uh, kiss my grits, all that stuff. I try not to curse. I will make it. I'm sorry, Hardys. I got a mouth of a truck driver sometimes, and I I just I just do. Um, but I try not to on camera and stuff. So I love Rosemary said sassafras that made me chuckle to the high heavens. So I like that. Um, this mystery. So it's like I love how it began with Bill really wanting Bill and Rosemary were really a team, and he really began to, to depend and trust her when Lucas was like, "No, you can't tell her. You can't tell Elizabeth. You can't tell someone that it was. It was. I, I like that Bill was sticking up for her. Like just like, no, she should know what's going on. But he didn't tell. He does. You know, it was this thing to tell. Um. And when Bill and Rosemary met up, that little funny scene where he ditches her, it's I really felt it's like I never thought in a million years Bill and Rosemary. I mean, like rooting for them. Um, and he says it again later, he's like, we should tell Rosemary, we can't tell her when they think Shaw's in town. So of course, I knew because we saw the, the commercial, we see that we that it was gonna lead to them being kidnapped. But what's great is when Rosemary walks in to the saloon. And Jeanette's there. I was like, oh, I loved it. I was like, this showdown of showdowns. I loved it. Because Rosemary is worldly. She's not dumb. So she was kind of like, okay. And it was funny because this all comes after, um, which I say his name correctly, which again, casting. I love it. More diversity on there. I love it. Um, 
Randall Rockwell. He shows up and he's all, <laughs> that's what he's like, he actually admires Rosemary. They're like, they're like, they're, but he was being threatened too. He had a source, he was being threatened. The, of course, they put their sleuthing stills together, realized that Jeanette was doing the threats to Randall, not Shaw. And, and then, but, but, so Rosemary already has this whole thing. Jeanette thinks Rosemary knows all this stuff and she doesn't. And so it was like this cat and mouse at first. But it was the way it was like, the way it was shot. They had, you know, it was like the long way down to the door and Rosemary's coming forward. Jeanette just stays at the bar and she's like, she's like standing halfway and looking halfway. It, the way it just, a, a technical, I won't get into the weeds, a technical thing for me, I just really enjoyed the way they did that. And so great direction. And Rosemary kind of comes closer and closer and she's trying to play it off. But also she's trying to, and then when Shaw shows, well, Shaw in quotes shows up, then I, I was on the edge of my seat. Because on this show, anything could happen. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I didn't even go kill Rosemary. Uh, if they did that, I would be, you know, I'd be protesting. But no, I just, I thought, I just, I thought, but, but anything, just anything could happen. That's what they were the show. And they built the tension up, you know, correctly. And then Elizabeth, you know, of course, is juxtaposed to Allie, like, where is it? Where is this culture? I got the kids. And what's going on? Elizabeth runs into Randall, who's like, bye bye. I got, I got to get out of here. She goes in and he's like, no. And then she's held hostage. The fact that that Rosemary puts it together, I guess you're so smart, my girl. It's just like you're being too clever. And then it was like, and then it was, it was so good because we have Shaw, we have Jeanette, we have Rosemary, we have Elizabeth, and Jeanette's putting it, and, and sorry, and Rosemary's putting it together. And meanwhile, the fellas run into Rock, Rockland, trying to get, trying to get, Rock, I don't know, Rockland, Randall, trying to get the F out of there. And they're like, what's going on? He shows the handwriting, like that's Jeanette. And then when, and almost at the same time, they all realize, oh, she's in charge. So I thought, okay, great twist. She's in charge. I can see that going. Because um, she's telling this guy, Shaw, like, don't do this. Don't do that. I, I just got, I'll, I'll, plans change. But when they all realize there is no Shaw, Jeanette is Shaw, I jumped out of my seat. I have to say, when comes to heart, writers, you totally got, I usually can guess these things. I didn't guess this. I didn't guess it. I usually can guess it. I didn't guess it. I was like, she's Shaw. Her being in charge is one thing, but there was never a Shaw. I'm like, that was genius. Come on. The writers. Loved it. Loved it. Great twist. Um, then the guys show up, of course, and the guns are all drawn. Um, you know, upstairs, you got Nathan following Elizabeth being held by quote unquote Shaw. And they look at each other. And I saw, okay. And I was thinking, there must be, because I think she looked over and he looked over. They saw a bale of hay down there. Because it was like, okay, I knew something was going to go down. And so they fell into the hay and that's the whole thing they got you know, away from him. Meanwhile, downstairs, again, great acting by Chris and the woman who plays Jeanette. Basically, what Wayne Calls the Heart does very well is show the morality, the humanity. When he says to Jeanette, I know the good parts of you. You know, that's that really got to her a little bit. And she wasn't going to shoot him. She had a gun pointed at his chest. She was going to shoot him. Because like she said, she had, everybody has a weakness. She Her weakness was Lucas. So that's kind of, so in, I don't know, a weird way. It was kind of cool and validation that someone loves Lucas in a weird, even though she was a little out there, she loves Lucas. But again, Lucas is a two-time loser on this, on this situation when it comes to relationships. So that's not good for him. But... Again, great acting, great job. Tied it up in a bow, loved it. So I just want to say, writers, kudos to you, great job. And then we got two little smaller things. Um, Lily needed some, used to have old bedroom, used to be able to look out the stars. Joseph built a, a nightlight with stars in them. Side, I was always shared about my life. 
when I was a kid, they had those decals. I don't know if you guys remember the 70s and 80s. They had the decals of stars. You put them on your um, ceiling. And they were they were um, the kind that glow in the dark. So during daytime, all the light would come in, hit them. And at nighttime, my brother and I would look up and see them. Like, oh, my God, they were there. So I just kind of funny that. Not, I have night lights in my house to this day. I have a very long house. So I have night lights along the way. So I'll turn the lights on and just like light a night light comes on. It's nice and soft. Not that I'm scared of the dark. I like the dark, but it's like it's fun kind of going through and having things lit up. So I believe in them. Got them at a Home Depot in America. We have a Home Depot. We them all the time. Um, and of course, the cute Mesu and Hickam are now engaged. Which we I think we all had a feeling that was the wedding. And we see for next week this finale. That's the, we're going to end on a really good note, so I love that. Uh, but it was cute. It was very them. I felt Hickam when he was afraid to ask. I felt the whole thing. Uh, we're going to see her brother, which I think is a great... I'm, so, I'm just so happy to see all this diversity. I love it. So I'm going to see her brother. That was a great idea. Um, and we'll see them as a newlywed couple next season. I, I'm ready. I love it. I'm ready. So again, A-plus episode of the show. I just... I can't believe next week's the finale um so i'm letting you guys know now every season people have asked already every season um we i do the finale with brian bird uh our fearless papa hardy so he agreed to do it again at the beginning of the season so we're working on it so hopefully it will be next monday live we always do them live so we let you guys talk so i'll keep posted once i finalize i sent the email this morning we're gonna try to finalize that uh, but he agreed to do it, of course. He did agree to do it early when the first season started. I just kept Rory at the last episode. So chances are what's going to happen is there won't be a reaction reel by itself. It'll be me with Brian talking about the whole season, including that last episode. And, you know, with Brian and I, it's real. It's honest. We talk about everything. Nothing's off limits. Uh, I always enjoy talking to him. And like, it's been a tradition for us. So I'm just going to work. I'm working on that right now. It's only Monday today. So I'm working on that. So next Monday... Just save the date, and usually it's around 5 p.m. Pacific time. So wherever you are, go from there. Uh, I'll make a flyer once I get it. When I get once I get it settled, I'm very excited, and I will be at HR HF. Come on, James, Sassafras. Um, I will be at HFR in September. Uh, I got. I have actually. I have some free flights, and I got. I got to figure. All, I'll figure all that out. Luckily, I'm on this side of the world. It's not hard for me to get to Vancouver. Um, it wasn't hard last time. Um, what I'll be doing there, you have to wait and see. And so all the ones who got the lottery got to they got to sign up. I'd be happy I can't wait to see you guys. I'll be reunited with some people. You know, I want to get to meet as many hardies as I can. Um, and I'm also thinking about doing something myself, just like a maybe a mini Zoom meeting or something with some hardies. I, I think I'm putting that together too. Um, because I want I I miss I miss my Ohio hardies. They 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 know I know them, they know me. Um, I owe my Michigan Hardy something, I, my Kentucky Hardy. I mean, I just, I miss, I've seen you guys all doing these Zooms and I'm not invited to any of them, but I, I miss you guys. I want to come. No, but I always get my, so, my SoCal Hardys always invite me stuff and they're, they're wonderful too. Uh, but I just been, as you know, the last year, taking care of family stuff. So it's been kind of hard for me to do stuff, but now I'm coming out of that. I'm going to do something. So just stay tuned. I'll just stay tuned for that. I'll be, I mean, I'm done working on something. Um, Shout out to the um, the uh, What Cost the Heart Facebook admins. It's admins, this is. I love you, ladies. Um, great season. I don't say. It was, I'm going to end it here. I will talk to you guys next week. So stay tuned for more information about next week's episode. Bye.